Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spyro. Today playing the daily challenge for September 13th, 2024. The character at the silent and the modifiers are cursed run. Whenever, whenever you defeat a boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with curse, heat, dark stone, parry, up to do it all. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And night terrors resting at rest sites heals 100% of your HP, but costs 5 max HP. So I'm a little worried that I don't see any familiar names in the top 40. That makes me think also with Vintage and Cursed Run, it might be difficult to actually get out of Act 1. I do see Steven here with 1290. So I wonder, maybe the right idea is to go for an early shop to buy some cards that can allow you to get through some of the early elites. Yeah, for example, there's an elite right here, and you might get some uh, curses up until that point. So with those curses and the starter cards, that elite might be impossible. Let me see. So there is a different two elite path if I go on the right. That one doesn't have a guaranteed shop, but at least I'll get the elite a little later. But if I go on the left, I also will have a shop here. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to... Wait, is that the, the path with the most crush mark rooms? So if I go on the left, I'll just get four crush mark rooms and a late shop, two elites. If I go on the right, I'll get... Uh, I could hit this early shop. One, two, three, four crush mark rooms as well. So if that's the case, let me go on the right and get this early shop and hopefully buy at least one or maybe two cards that might allow me to get through the elites. And that way I also don't have a lot of... Well, I still have three crush mark rooms before the first elite, but I think that's worth it. And other than that, the paths are identical, right? So I think it's okay. And I'm hoping the extra strength will help me. All right, let's start off with th three strikes here. Okay. And then I can do Survivor and another strike. Yeah, this is the problem, right? You just don't have a damage engine with the Silent at the beginning. You have a lot of block, but that's not going to be enough. Okay. And then here I should be able to kill with two strikes. Good. All right, you got Nunchaku. Every time you play 10 attacks, get extra energy as well as an explosive potion. And can I afford two good cards? I see backstep and slice. Now that alone is not going to be enough. What if I do discovery? But then that depends on whether I get lucky with it. And that will be only uh, that would only be one card I can pick up. I can't pick up a second one. Crippling Cloud is interesting too. Who's my final boss here? Slime boss. Yeah, Crippling Cloud for the weakness might be nice. And then I could also afford a slice. My intuition is to go with backstep and slice though. Let's do it. All right. All right, it is risky because, I mean, they are both attack cards, maybe not the best ones, but I'll gladly take them. Let's start with Neutralize, and at least I am able to deal a lot of damage on turn one, and maybe once I get some extra strength, there'll be even more. Yeah, yeah, so let's hope let's hope that uh, this will work out, because I wouldn't be surprised if I die, like, uh, looks like a lot of others. Got a Poison Potion, Antonio and Thopto, and I've used a Potion, heal 5 HP. That's actually kind of nice, that would allow me to heal back up a little. All right, so here I can do two strikes to kill you. And then backstab neutralize. Okay. And unfortunately, I'll be weakened here. I can't fully defend, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another 10 should be easy to do. Beautiful. Got a journal feather for every 5 cards in your deck. Heal 3 HP whenever you enter a rest site. That will heal me back at least a little. And then, yeah, let's go left. I haven't. Okay, never mind. There's the first curse. I was going to say I haven't seen a curse yet, but yeah, there's my first one. Got the fungi beasts. Uh, let's get rid of the doubt. Also, I have to probably pick up discard synergies to be able to handle all the curses I'll get. Oh, wow. All right. At least I can fully defend here. And then let's do neutralize. Okay. Could have probably neutralized this one, though. All right. Another nine. I can kill this one with two attacks and then target the backliner for a kill. Good. An ancient T said when we enter a rest site, start the next combo with two extra energy. Okay. I feel like I have a lot of energy relics now. All right, Slaver, lots of attacking, and uh, nothing I can do about that. Okay, Act 2 might be tough. All right, let's double defend and double attack. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do um, Neutralize and two strikes. Okay. All right, got the boot. One of you deal four less than locked attack damage. Increase it to five. I would really love to get some shivs in my deck now. All right, another shop, and here I have more gold. Okay, I desperately need cards. I think I should take Acrobatics for a discard. Infinite Blades might be interesting. Let's also do Flechettes, Infinite Blades, and then between these two, I'm not a huge fan. I think instead I should take a uh, Block Potion that might help me against either a boss or an Elite. Here I got Shame as well as Happy Flower. Every three turns, get extra energy. Okay. And then here I got these Sentries. Well, I can fully defend on turn one. I'm not sure about the other turns. I might even throw the Explosive Potion, but let's make sure I actually can actually use it successfully. If I, if I can't use it to perfect, then there's no reason to. Yeah, for example, no real reason to do it now, huh? 
Let's do slice, strike. Uh, you know what? Just to make my life easier, I will throw the push and I'll also heal me back up a little. But yeah, unfortunately, nothing I can do against the nine. Yeah, I need more discard synergies, really. That's the key. All right, two attacks. That's not enough, but I can double defend. I should have considered targeting the backliner in that case. Mm -hmm. All right, there's an acrobatics. Let me see if I can get more skills. Yeah, not really. Um, I... I'll get rid of the strike. So I can do this. Neutralize infinite blades defend. At least with the infinite blades, I'll have a shiv every turn. Mm -hmm. Actually, I just realized the boot is useless because I already have two strength, right? All right, let's kill this one with a shiv, and then I just need nine damage. Um, oh, I'm weakened too, so the shiv is only four, but luckily I got some strikes. Okay. All right, got Vajra, so I just come with one strength, a strength potion, and Blur Tactician or Predator. I think I need a good attack card, and Predator might be that good attack card. Okay. Jawworm and Spike Slime, 11 incoming. Let's bring it down to eight. I can target the backliner and fully defend. Okay. Unfortunately, I'll be frail next turn, hoping this one doesn't attack me. Yep, good, got lucky. Um, so this kills, and then Predator Strike. And then with the extra card draw, I should be able to find 15 damage somewhere, right? Yes, beautiful. Okay, we've got Blue Candle. I'm playing Curse Cards, can't be played. Whenever you play Curse, lose one HP and Exhausted. That's really good for a Curse run. Um, I think, do I need a Flex Potion? No, I think I'll skip the Flex Potion. I'm happier with the Strength Potion. All right, Grumman Knob. Do I have a chance against this one? Let me drink the Strength Potion, see if that does anything. Unlikely, but there's a small chance, especially if I get the small attack. Nope, I got the big attack here. Let's get rid of this and this. Yeah, nothing I can do, right? Actually, if I had the... F Wait. If I drank the poison potion before last turn, that would have been enough to kill this turn. All right, fine. We got bronze scale, so I just come with three thorns, deflect deadly poison, sneaky strike. I am hoping to get more discard synergy, so I'll take the sneaky strike. I also have plenty of energy. Another shop. Okay, well, there is word of not getting enough shops. I think I'll do Skewer and Massive Stab, right? Now, Massive Stab is not that great with the Blue Candle. Let me take Skewer for sure. Should I take something else instead? Bouncing Flash might not be a bad idea. Escape plan for card draw? Yeah, just because I have the Blue Candle, I'm a little worried about taking Massive Stab. So let me take the Escape plan instead. Okay. All right, so I don't have any AoE damage, but uh, hopefully... Well, Backstab kills one of them. A Strike is not enough. Well, let's do Infinite Blades, and then two strikes, and uh, should I get rid of the doubt? Let's get rid of the doubt. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, luckily I'm not weakened, which means I can easily kill you, and then almost kill the backliner, and then I should be able to... Um, well, a few attacks are needed here. Predator and Shift. Beautiful. Okay, we've got Juju Basic. Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered in Crush Mark Rooms. That's really nice. And then here I... Do I want to upgrade the, uh, the, the Infinite Blades? Probably not, actually. I think upgrading the Skewer might be better, and then Acrobatics next. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got the Slime Boss here. Well, there's Sneaky Strike. I could make it be free, but I don't really need it to be free. Um, let's do Sneaky Strike, Backstab, Strike. Okay. I don't think I'll need to throw the Poison Potion yet. Uh, here, let me get rid of the Shame and then play my attacks. Okay, I should be able to transform next turn, right? I just need 7 damage. Unless I get super unlucky. Nope. All right, let's do escape plan. Okay, this is not the best split value, but it is decent. Okay, 52. Not ideal. And unfortunately, both are attacking me. So skewer... Hang on. So I need to deal 26 damage. So two energy skewer is enough to transform one of them. Not enough for the other. Flechettes is not enough either. Can I acrobatic something useful? Yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll do... Acro Hang on. Let's do shift first. Then acrobatics. I'm hoping... Um, yeah, so I can do Neutralize, and then use the Block Potion to defend against this one. And then I can even do a... St what, I, you know what? If I'm going to use the Block Potion, let's also just use a Skewer here. That way I'll deal more damage, transform transform at a better value. Okay. I'm glad I picked up that uh, Block Potion there. Alright, so here I can kill this one with a Strike and Shiv. And then, unfortunately, we can next turn. Should I throw the Poison Potion... Might be worth it. Let's do the poison potion because that way I won't be weakened next turn. Okay. Now I just need to deal a little bit of damage on this one. All right. Um, let's see what this gives me. Nothing super useful. Okay. Maybe that um, uh, poison potion was not super necessary, but, you know, I, it's, I think it's better to be safe there. All right. Here I can kill. Okay. Perfect. Thanks to that block potion. Very happy with that. We got a weakness potion. Bullet time, thousand cuts, phantasm killer. 
Uh, I got a Parasite. I might consider go for, going for Highland, right? I think I'll skip this one. I, I wasn't super dead on on Popper, but none of those were good cards. Do I want to take Empty Cage? That will make my quest for Highlander a little easier. I could remove two of the of the three curses. Astrolabe, Fusion Hammer. I don't think I need extra energy. Let's take the Empty Cage and pick up remove two cards from the deck. I think that's going to be the... Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? Let's maybe not lose max HP. Although I might get a Parasite in Act 3. So let's get rid of the Parasite and Doubt or Shame. Get rid of the Doubt. There's one event that gives you a Doubt, a doubt on Act 3. So let's get rid of that. I did lose a little bit of max HP, but I think it's fine. I should be able to make that up with Deduction Parry up. All right. One, two, multiple... Well, two, two lead paths. Either going on the right, which will give me one, two, three question mark rooms and a late shop. Or going on the left, which will give me one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms, no shop. So, yeah, let's go on the left. I didn't count how many question mark rooms I had. I think I had only four on Act 1. So, this should bring up my total to nine. So, I need six on Act 3, basically. All right, ten incoming. Let's do acrobatics to play the uh, sneaky strike for free. Then neutralize Predator. And I don't have enough to kill. So, let's do defend and infinite blades. Okay. Mm -hmm. An ideal, yeah, skewer is enough to kill here. Good. I'm happy I upgraded that, actually. We've got Sneko Skull. One of you apply poison. Apply one additional poison. Too bad I don't have any poison cards at the moment. Remove a card. I could remove another curse. But then I won't have any extra strength, so I don't know. I'm guaranteed four more curses. Probably another one from an event. It's a lot of gold. No, let's save the gold for a shop. If I have a free card rem removal opportunity with the empty cage, for example, I will do it, but not without it. All right, so this is going to be 48. That's not enough. Um, I think I'll try to defend a little bit here. Um, yeah, defend, predator, and skewer. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here I can do uh, acrobatics first. Ooh, I got some nice skills there for the flechettes to be very powerful. And then I can kill here. Beautiful. All right, got turn to be going to become frail. That's very nice. And then an entropic brew. That's also really nice. That might really help me. Duplicate a card in your deck. Um, not going. I, I'm not going for the Highlander modifier. Let me duplicate a uh, starter card. So the Survivor seems like a good card to have a duplicate of. And then Transformer, obtain a special relic. I think I'll take the special relic. Mutagenic Strength, Surge Combo, 3 Strength. At the end of the first turn, loot 3 Strength again. Makes the backstab even stronger. Yeah, this one is going to be a challenge, right? Um, I don't have any blocks, so basically I have to kill everything, which seems unlikely. Let me try to see what the Entropy Brew will give me. Um, another Entropic Brew. Cunning Potion is interesting. I don't think I can kill more than one, though, right? So let's start with the Predator. Then Backstab. And then, if I do Cunning Potion, I, there's no way I can come up with this much block, though, right? Yeah, fine. Let's save the potions um, and kill one of them. But yeah, I don't think I stood a chance. Even if I use the Cunning Potion. Maybe if I use the Entropic Brew again. But I'd rather have an Entropic Brew for a boss fight. Let's do Acrobatics here. Uh, Skewer is nice. Uh, get rid of the Shame. The Shets is not bad either. Let's do that. Um, then Strike 1, Strike 2. I can do Skewer to gain energy to play another Strike. That's probably not super necessary. I'm losing HP, but that's fine. I should be able to heal back up with the Eternithopter if needed. And then here, I don't have enough, unfortunately. Let's do Neutralize. And I can at least fully defend. Mm -hmm. All right. And now I can try to target the backliner with uh, escape plan, survivor, sneaky strike, neutralize, shiv, and defend. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame about turn one. If I had the starter relic for the silent, drawing two extra cards at the beginning of each fight is a huge help. We got mummified hand. One of you play power card around carny hand because zero that turn. That's really nice. And then because I have Sneko skull, I am considering bouncing flask. And I already have a flechette. Let's take the bouncing flask. Yeah, I have the energy to support it. All right. Uh, should I upgrade the uh, backstab because it's always in my opening hand? I think I should. Yeah, let's do that. Neutralize upgrade might be good too. Bouncing Flask would be also a good thing to get upgraded. All right, Centurion Mystic. There's no way to get either combo or overkill at the moment, right? And at least not with my current deck, so I'm not going to attempt it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 12 incoming. Skewer is overkill. Uh, let's do Bouncing Flask, actually. Okay. All right, and then Skewer's 24. That is enough to kill this one. Let's also do Neutralize. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, wait, Sneko Skull? I thought... Okay, I mixed it up with the other one that transferred the poisons. Either way, I mean, it's still good to have a poison card with it, but um, yeah, that was a small mistake on my part. Can I kill here? Um, no. And I got rid of my defensive card, which I probably could have used to try to defend a little bit. 
Yeah, that was a mistake. At least the enemy will be dead next turn. So not, hopefully not a huge deal. All right. We got Gremlin Horn, one of an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. That's always nice for AOE fights. And sh another shame, really. The only card I had duplicate of, I got another duplicate. <sighs> All right, we got Ink Bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card. And then going left here. Okay, Book of Stabbing might be tough. 12 incoming at the beginning. I do start out with a lot of defensive cards. And unfortunately, um, actually, I can do backstab, gain extra energy to play all my cards here. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, good thing I had to do check already. 18. Um, I only have 13. And I don't really see a way. If I do Skewer, that's the best attack card, right? So if I do Skewer, that's going to be 52. Nah, nothing I can do here. All right, let's do Defense, Survivor, and then Skewer. Yeah, I was a little... I had to deal way more damage than I had. Or defend for me way more. And yeah, looks like... Okay. So I think this deck is just poor both in offense and defense. Because, uh, yeah, I, I have trouble doing either. Okay. Another 24. Can I do the Acrobatics here? Um, get rid of a Strike. Flechettes is pretty good. Let's do Sneaky Strike first and Flechettes. And that's enough to kill... Well, together with a Neutralize. Okay. Get Courier to Merchant New Stocks, Card Shocks, and Potions, and all prices are reduced by 20%. I still don't think I'll go for Collective Bonuses. You'll hook Endless Agony or Slice. Mm, I just have the one Neutralize for Weakness. I don't know about Heal Hook. Endless Agony might be slightly better. It is upgraded, though. Let me take the Heal Hook and hope I get some more ways to enter or to apply Weakness. Okay. All right. So um, here, let's do Backstab, Lachette. I can play everything, right? Yeah. Um, survivor out the shame, defend to be full defended, and then kill one of them. Ah, too bad I can't do the sneaky strike. Mm -hmm. All right, here, bouncing flask, neutralize, and double strike. I'll get rid of the um, shame, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then another 10. Let's see what that gives me. Acrobatics gives me a predator, which is not enough. I might consider just defending here with uh, Survivor. And a strike. Infinite Blades might have been con uh, useful to consider as well. Actually, with the poison, yeah, skewer is enough to kill. Beautiful. All right, got War Paint up and pick up. I play two random skills and a poison potion, which I don't think I'll take. And then here, I could sacrifice a curse. I don't have a rare card, right? You know what? Let's get rid of the curse. It's a free way to get rid of the curse. I'm losing one HP, and I got the spirit the spirit poop relic, which is unpleasant. Fine. Okay. I uh, now I'm only guaranteed one, two, three, right? So uh, I need I need to get one more curse from an event. Okay, this is a lot of damage. Let me start off with. Uh, hang on, uh, wait. How much is this exactly? Seventy five, right? Yeah, that's way too much. All right, let's start off with backstab, and then two strikes are not enough. Wait, uh, to deal four energy, it would be sixty. Three energy would be forty five. So I think I'll do a strike here, another strike here, then skewer. And then hope I get another good attack card. Ah, no, I got Predator, which I unfortunately can't play. Okay. 12 incoming. Let's... I can't even kill this one. All right, let's uh, see. Okay, I did get Heal Hook, so I can kill this one now. Good. And then Bouncing Flask and Defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here I got another 9. Flechettes is not very useful. Let's do Acrobatics first. Get rid of the Shame. Then Sneaky Strike. A regular Strike. Flechettes, and that should be enough to kill. Beautiful. All right. That Fossilized Helix, that's really nice. Prevent the first time you would lose, lose HP each combat, as well as an Explosive Push, which I'll reject. And here I can choose a card to add. Probably not Catalyst. I don't think I have enough damage. Dash is really good. Blade Dance might be good for the Shivs. Mm, yeah, I think I should take the Dash. Choke is not bad either, but I need more card draw for Choke to be worth it. And then here, I'm not sure what to upgrade. I guess the Infinite Blades? Might make my turn one a little worse. Let me upgrade the acrobatics instead. Come. Okay. Really hoping to get more discard synergies, and I wasn't really offered too many of those. Yeah, so turn one, nothing I can do, right? Let me drink my potions here. Let's drink the cultist potion. Actually, I mean, I do have the buffer, so that might be an option. Let's drink the uh, ship potion and then see what this gives me. That's a power potion, which I might consider drinking as well. Well laid plants might be really good here. Let's do well laid plants. All right. So because I'm losing... Here, let's do Infinite Blades to hit... Actually, I'm going to do Strike so that the Infinite Blades hit the Sneaky Strike. Not that I really need the energy, but, you know, might as well. All right, so I'm going to hang on to the Defend. I'm hoping the well laid Plants might help me, although obviously it's not guaranteed. Okay, another 12. Okay, I do have Survivor. I'm going to get rid of the Shame. Okay. Shiv. 
neutralized. Okay, good. Because now I can double defend or defend with two defense and then save the survivor for later. I think that's important. Come. Okay. All right, another 24. Okay, this is rough. I only have 19. Let's see what the ski plan gives me. Okay, another survivor. Wait, so 19, 22. That's still not enough. I think I have to do two survivors, right? 19 plus... Three. No, I have to play my defend and the two survivors. All right, let's do flush shots first. Shiv, then survivor one. Defend. See what I draw there. Okay, survive. Well, if I knew I was going to get the dash, I'm going to get rid of the skewer because I want to save the dash for later. Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, luckily I'm not being attacked here. Should I try to transform? I think I should. Should I drink the flex potion? I might. Uh, you want? Let's try this. Let's try to deal as much damage as I can. Heal hook, strike, dash. Okay, I hope that was a good use of a flex potion there. Mm -hmm. I still have a fire potion. Now the enemy is transforming. I am weakened as well, which is annoying. Let's do shiv, neutralize, escape plan. Uh, there's bouncing flask. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Let's do acrobatics first. All right, I can do a um, a sneaky strike for free. I can also do heal hook. All right, um, and I can do I can't do three attacks. I'm not ready with the nunchaku yet, so I guess I'll just do strike and dash. And my hope is that I can just kill next turn. Uh, yeah, let's hope for that. I do have extra energy with the nunchaku, but can I deal forty damage? Assuming that I can deal another twenty with the potion there, I think I might be able to. Right. This is a great hand. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even need to use the fire potion. All right, perfect this one just barely. What's the curse that I got there? Okay, pain. That's a little annoying with the fossilized helix, right? We also got an ancient potion and a lodestorm of steel doppelganger. I will skip this one. And then do I want to run a pyramid? Uh, no, no. It would be. I mean, I have the energy. I have some discard with the survivor, but not enough. Coffee dripper. It's not that I really need to rest, but I might have to. Although, no, I don't think I need to rest. Let's take the coffee drop again. Energy to start return. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Yeah, because I, I am healing thanks to the eternal feather. So I don't think I really need to heal much more. All right. One, two, three. There's a three lead path on the right. Uh, left side only has a one lead path, which is disappointing. If I go on the right, I'll get three early question mark rooms and a fourth one. So, yeah, no way to get the... Um, the mystery mission modifier, but I, I think that's fine. And I only have two curses. I'm guaranteed another two, so I need one of the question mark rooms to give me another curse. Um, here, I'm going to get rid of the pain, lose the buffer, unfortunately. And then, uh, ink bottle's not ready yet. All right, let's do backstab, um, neutralize, strike, and survivor. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Lots of incoming here. Skewer kills one of them, right? Um, so, hang on. Uh, I need a four energy skewer would be 52. So I can do strike, slice, then oh, I got extra energy. Great. Um, all right. Well, hang on. Um, how do I do this? All right. Let's kill the backline with the skewer and then escape plan. And I was really hoping to get something better. All right. Fine. Looks like I'll take 16 damage here. Good thing I have a lot of max HP. Come. Okay. All right. Another 10. I can do predator. Unfortunately, it's not enough to kill, right? Ah, what a bummer. All right. Double defend. Come. Okay. Backline is coming back to life. All right. Mm -hmm. Another lots of incoming here. Let's do acrobatics. Get rid of this. And then do escape plan. Neutralize. I can do neutralize and heal hook. Okay. Kill this one with a strike. And then I should have enough to kill this one with two strikes. All right. And then dash and strike is enough. Okay, good. A little annoying, but fine. We've got a question card, feature card award to have one additional card to choose from. All right. And then an explosive potion. Mm hmm. All right, so a Wraith Curse is annoying, but I do need to pick up another Curse. Let's do that. Okay. And here I got the Orc Walker. 10 incoming. I don't think I'll play the Wraith here. I will I think I'll just lose the buffer. Although, actually, I can save the buffer with two defense, right? Might as well. Mm -hmm. If I don't get the pain, I'll use the buffer another turn. Yeah, this is much better. Let's do Acrobatics. All right, get rid of the pain. Then do Sneaky Strike. Neutralize Predator and then play attacks. Actually, that's enough to kill. Didn't even need to use my buffer. We got Paper Crane, Enemy Tooth, Weak Deal, 40% less damage rather than 25. I really need to pick up more cards that apply weakness. Well, Red Mask would apply weakness, but it's a lot of gold to waste on a Relic. Now, there's no guarantee. Okay, you know what? Because there's no guarantee, I'll get a shop. I think I'll take it. Yeah, let's do it. It's a lot of gold for a Relic, but it might be worth it. Okay, I was really hoping this was not a shop. That would be horrible. All right, so uh, let's see what uh, I get offered here. Flash of Steel is fine. 
Discovery may be okay. All of these are rare, so I can't take any of those. Yeah, let's do Flash of Steel here, and here I'll do Discovery. I think that's decent. I only got to 30 cards. I still need to pick up five more, ideally. All right, starting off with the pain is unfortunate. Um, I don't... I'm not close to getting any card draw. If I don't play anything, yeah, there's nothing I can do, right? Uh, might as well play some attacks, then get rid of this and this. Backstab, Infinite Blade, Strike. And unfortunately, I have to accept the damage. Yeah, that's my problem. Turn one might be pretty bad. Not much I can do about that. Should I just wait? Yeah, there's no reason to play anything. I'm not getting attacked. Now I have Ink Bottle and Dune Shackle ready for next turn, so no need to waste them this turn. All right, so let's start with the Shiv, then Neutralize. That brings it down to 27, thanks to the um, thanks to the Paper Crane. Then do Acrobatics, hoping for some defensive cards. All right, Sneaky Strike is free. Um, let's see what the Discovery gives me. Bouncing Leg Sweep is really nice. Great defensive card. I'm still taking damage, but I think that's fine. Okay, yeah, not taking too much damage there. Mm -hmm. All right here, I'm not being attacked. Uh, let's just do Bouncing Flask and nothing else. Again, saving the Ink Bottle for next turn. Okay. All right, and all right, small attacks, so only nine incoming. Uh, let's do escape plan, defend one, defend two, uh, get rid of the shame, and then double attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could have used, considered using the uh, fire pusher, but no, I think this is fine. Flash of steel, acrobatics, get rid of one of the burns, and then survivor to get rid of the other. I can do, oh, I might have messed that up a little bit. Uh, all right, let's do, let's do another survivor then, and wait. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to take some damage here, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, I should be able to kill with the skewer. Beautiful. All right. No chance of perfecting this way. We got Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sets. That's really good. Deflect Tactician, Sneaky Strike, or Heal Hook. I already have these two. I don't know about Tactician Deflect. I think it's better. Okay. All right. Transient. I do have the buffer here. Maybe I can hang on to it for a while. Uh, let's start with a dash. Yep. Then Infinite Blades, Backstab. Okay. Yeah, hopefully I don't draw the Pain anytime soon. Oh, nope, there it is. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's do Pain, Flash of Steel, Shiv. I think I'll just do Skewer here. Okay. This one might be rough. I have to be a little careful. I do have a Fire Push in though, so that might help. 50 incoming. Let's see what the Escape Plan gives me. Nothing super useful. I can do Defense, Slice, Predator, Shiv, and Sneaky Strike. Okay. Still have two turns. I'm a little worried here. I would like to play the Bouncing Flask. Let's actually do Flechettes first. Then Neutralize Bouncing Flask. Okay. I think the Poison should help. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is good. Mm -hmm. And last turn with 70 incoming. Yeah, that's the worst, right? Discovery gives me Dash, Dagger Throw, Calculate Gamble. Let's try the Dash. All right. Shiv, Double Strike, Double Defend. That's the best I can do. And you know what? I'm losing only... Actually, not even... Yeah, I'm not losing anything because of the Poison. Okay, good. So perfect that one. We've got Ceramic Fish. When we add a card to deck, gain 9 gold. Uh, power Potion might be better than the Explosive Potion. This is my final boss, by the way. Awaken one. Yeah, I don't think I need artifacts for the Awaken one. Let's take the Power Potion instead. And then going right for two more elites. This one gives me the Giant Head Fight. Um, luckily, I'm not being attacked on turn one. I will try to hang on to my buffer as long as I can. Let's do Flash of Steel first. Ooh, a free heal hook. Well, a free heal hook meaning it pays for itself. I can get rid of the pain. That's huge news. Discovery allows me to get a good malaise. That might be worth it. All right, let's do backstab. Actually, let's do malaise first and then backstab. It's not just the loss of strength. It's also the neg the, the weakness, which, thanks to Paper Crane, allows me to not have to use too many, too many defensive cards to defend there. All right, let's play some, well, just one skill and then two attacks. I am still lacking a good damage card, though. That might be a problem, right? Um, I do have the dash to be fully defended here, and I will still keep the buffer. So let's do flechettes first, then escape plan. All right. Then neutralize. I think I'll do bouncing flask and dash. Mm-hmm. All right. I started to get worried. Maybe I should have drank the power potion there. Is it too late? Let me drink it now. Tools of the trade, while I plant or caltrops. Tools of the trade might be good to get rid of curses. Um, here I can do, um, let's, oh, I didn't take while I plants, huh? Let's fully defend with the defend, then do another defend, shiv, strike, and skewer. Oh, I could do a free sneaky strike if I played the survivor. That's fine. All right. I still have that buffer, though, although now I'm reshuffling, I might draw the pain again. 15, this is why I like the weakness, right? Um, I, I think, here, let's get rid of the survivor, I don't need two. Then do... 
survivor and defend. And then play the attacks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Starting to get worried. Still have a lot of damage to deal. Okay, luckily I didn't get the pain. Actually, I do have the tools of the trade, right? So pain is not super necessary. Can I defend? This is only 15. Escape plan will be uh, 18. 18, if it gets me a shiv, which is a big if, but maybe worth a try. Uh, let's do sneaky strike first. Then dash. The shets. I know it played it out, out of order, but the reason... Okay, I was going to draw a card anyway. The reason I did that is because... If I drew the pain with the escape plan, I wouldn't have to play it. Okay. Still have that buffer. And I still don't have the pain, which means I might draw it at any point. Here, I, there's no way to defend, so I'm going to get rid of the deflect and just try to deal damage instead. So let's do Bouncing Flask, skill first. And then Shiv, Strike, 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 Predator. That's enough to kill. All right, awesome. And I still have my buffer. All right, perfect. This one somehow. I think the power potion definitely helped. We got Molten Egg. One of the add attack into deck upgraded. And then Riddle with Holds with the extra strength I have might be really good. I already have these two. Don't really want this one. Let's take it. All right. Here I got... No, that's my third shame. Well, now I don't have a chance to get Highlander anymore, right? We got Horn Khalid at the serve your second turn, gain 14 block. There's still one question mark room. If that gives me a transform opportunity, although I could remove it. Wait. Could remove it at a rest site if I get another curse out of that. So let's let's do regular fights because I might fight the writhing mass again. Not again, but you know, I might get a parasite again. Alright, let's start with the flash of steel. Um, I don't want to lose my buffer. Yeah, I probably don't want to lose my buffer. Uh let's do sneaky strike to kill you. And then two strikes and wait. Okay. Oh right, actually I have turnips, so being uh, having shame is not a problem. All right, lots of incoming. Flechettes is only 18, and then Predator is enough to kill this one. And then I can do Strike, and no need to play anything else. Okay. Mm, this one is back to life. All right, another 16. Yeah, here I think I need to get rid of the pain, right? All right. Losing the buffer that way. And then let's do Dash. And no source of weakness, right? Kill this one. Okay. Then Heal Hook, Infinite Blades, and wait again. All right. Mm, still need to pick up two more cards. Actually, no, one of them will be a curse, right? So I'm not too worried about that. 45 is almost enough to kill this one. Let's do that with a slice, then neutralize, strike, and a shift. Beautiful. Come. Okay. Got Frozen Egg, one of the added power card in your deck, into your deck, upgraded, as well as a colorless potion. Colorless. Colorless. Okay, I got a writhing math. So that means I will be able to get five curse. I can remove the duplicate right here and just hope that the last one in the shop won't be an annoying duplicate. All right, so here I also need to try to get a... Um, what do you call it? A curse. Can I do that? Alright, no. Taking 12 damage instead. Luckily, I'm fully defended. Mm -hmm. Alright, there's a curse. Beautiful. Um, as much as I'd love to play the um, skewer here, I think I'll wait. Okay. Alright, so, alright, that's another curse or more max and more max HP. Escape plan gives me infinite blades, which sets the uh, heal hook to zero. I do want to make sure that I have some defenses here. Let's do one heal hook. Oh, that's not good. Slight. Okay, well, 21 is better than, what was it, like 30-something? Okay. Um, here, maybe I'll, th I think I'll do dash. Oh, no, not 32 again. Okay, 15 is better than, let's do bouncing flask. And then I can do defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 21. Uh, let's do neutralize for the weakness. I think that's useful. That's down to 12. Um, I will risk, actually, I can just fully defend here, right? Yeah, let's fully defend, have the poison take care of it, and my thorns, okay? So now I just need six damage, which I can do with the flechettes, beautiful. All right, we got Centennial Puzzle, the first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards, so it's really nice together with the blue candle, and the cultist potion, I don't know, might help against the awakened one, probably more so than the explosive potion, I think, okay? All right, Nemesis again, I always have trouble with this one, right? Um, so 9 incoming, luckily I do have the survivor, let's do neutralize for more turns of weakness, flash of steel, backstab, and uh, yeah, survivor, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, another 9, luckily I'm fully defended here, let's do heal hook. Um, I'm not going to get rid of the curses because I, uh, I want to keep my buffer if I can. Okay, here I do have the pain, so let's, uh, as much as I would love to do a skewer, which would deal 80 damage. Um... No, let's save the buffer, right? Yeah, it's... Ten Wait, 80 plus 20 is 100, 100 damage. That's not enough. Yeah, let's let's not risk it. Okay. 
It would be funny if it's a small attack. No, that's exactly what I wanna, wanna, why I wanted to save the buffer for. Okay. All right, let's do escape plan, and then might as well play these strikes. Okay. All right, there goes my buffer. Okay. Now I'd love to gra grab a skewer again. Let's do... Actually, I can get rid of this to draw more cards. Okay. Riddle withholds us 50 damage. That's really nice. Let's do shiv. Riddle withholds. Okay. And then slice strike. Okay. That buffer saved me here. Perfect. This one we got Urkalkum if you enter to him without blocking six block, which is nice. I already have this sucker punch. I think it's totally worth it just for the weakness alone. Okay. And then here, I'm probably okay losing the infant blades. I could lose a strike. Now nah, let's lose the infinite blades because, um, yeah, it's a power. I don't think I desperately need it. All right, so I have to remember at the next rest side to remove the duplicate shame. Um, should I draw extra cards? Actually, let's get rid of my buffer to draw extra cards. All right, there's a sneaky strike. Let's see what the discovery gives me. After which is not a bad idea. Let's do that. Then backstab, defend, flash of steel, strike, and um, sneaky strike. Okay. I wasn't able to get either overkill or combo though, right? So that might be a way to lose points there. Get rid of this. Riddle withholds deals a lot of damage, enough to kill this one. And then I can do strike dash. And um, can I get another attack? Uh, yes. Beautiful. Okay, we got anchor stage call with 10 block. That's very useful. And then here I have to remove the duplicate shame. And for the record, I was offered... Yeah, that would be my third shame, right? Okay, so there is a chance, um, there's a uh, 50, no, 60% chance I'll get a unique curse at the end of this fight. So let's hope for that. All right, I'm almost fully defended. Let's start off with a heal hook. I really with hopes to kill one of them, right? Let's start with heal hook on you. Okay. All right, there's survivor. That's great. Uh, I should drink this first. Um, should I see? No, let's use the colors potion for an emergency. Let's kill this one with a real with hold. See what I get there. All right, acrobatics is good. All right, get rid of this. Then do backstab, see what that gives me. No, uh, let's do defend first. Because again, if I draw the pain, I could just stop my turn. But no, I can keep going. Another strike. Okay, no pain yet. That's good. Let's do flash of steel. Another strike. One more strike. And then might as well do dash. And I guess I can wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 24. I have 14. Um, and I can fully defend, right? Let's do defend. Uh, deflect defend. Escape plan. All right, let's see what the discovery gives me. Poison Stab, Deflect, or Dodge and Roll. Dodge and Roll might be interesting. Let's take it. No pain yet. That's good. I think I'll do Dodge and Roll, Predator, and then I have enough energy to play the Bouncing Flask as well. Good. So far, this is going well. I have to get really lucky, though, to perfect this one. Time-wise, I'm also doing pretty good. All right, 20 incoming. Flechettes is not that much. Um, there is a Sucker Punch for Weakness. There's also a Skewer. I have to do the Sucker Punch, I think. Yeah, and then defend is enough, and then I can do skewer. Could have considered doing the flechettes first, but no, let's do skewer here. Okay. All right, I have eight strength already, which is kind of nice. Another 12, that's thanks to the weakness. And here is the pain. I have to lose my buffer, right? Well, if I'm losing the buffer, might as well use it to get some card draw. So let's lose the buffer here, or I already lost the buffer, gained some more card draw. I did get the dash, that's useful. All right. Um, so let's do dash, neutralize, strike, and deflect. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have the buffer anymore for the big attack. I was hoping to save it for that. Another 12. Let's do... I can't fully defend with the survivor. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do survivor, defend, sneaky strike, and a regular strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, rule with holds kills, right? Um, let's do parasite... I don't have any power left, right? I removed the infinite blade, so I don't have a, another power. Um, I can do slice and... No, that's not enough. Let's do acrobatics first. Too bad I don't have the sucker punch. Don't need, it, don't need this, really. Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, sorry. I meant I, it's too bad I don't have the sucker punch for next turn. Okay, yeah, let's just hope for the best. I have 40 incoming next turn. Not much I can do about that, right? Other than getting lucky. Uh, let me see what this potion gives me now. Flash of Steel, Panache, Discovery. Hope the Discovery gives me something amazing. Malaise is useful for weakness. It alone won't be enough, though. But I think just for the weakness, I will take it. So Flash of Steel. No, that, no, nowhere close to being enough, uh, having enough damage here. Let's do Defend, Defend, Dodge and Roll. That's the best I can do. Um, I can't do both Malaise and um, Heal Hook, right? So, yeah, I think I'll just do... Um, let's do Heal Hook and then Malaise. 
Yeah, 23. I needed... If I got a survivor, the upgraded one, that would have been enough. But unfortunately... And I don't know. If I reload like a bunch of times, I'm sure I can get some lucky card draw order that would allow me to get it. But it, it just... I think it's not obvious, so it's going to take forever to get to it. And yeah, so I don't think it's worth it. I'm still happy that I perfected two of the three elites, though. Yeah, and it, yeah, it was after the transformation. I had no chance. Did I get a duplicate shame? Well, I could have had a collector most on the shames. That is a shame. All right, 1190 could have been 1290 with some luck. All right, after seven leads, I perfected only two. Missed the last boss. Uh, was able to get curses, but didn't get Highlander, which is a shame. Uh, got Popper. Stuffed was easy thanks to all the curses. I like Shiny. Was obviously easy with Vintage. Lightspeed was very doable, but I missed combo, uh, Overkill and Combo. Trying to think. There's no way for me to get Collector bonuses, because I got the Courier a little too late, and I didn't have a lot of gold left, and I didn't get a shop on Act 3. But yeah, really the key was to try to get Highlander at the end, and uh, yeah, I missed it by... Uh, yeah, it was a 60% chance... Um, looks like people were able to do much better, though. So even if I had gotten a unique curse at the end, 1290 would have actually had me tied with Goldberry. So I wonder if either Goldberry was able to do that, getting Highlander curses, or if Goldberry was able to perfect the last boss. That's also an option. If I had gotten both Highlander and perfect the last boss, that would have put me in 1390. That would have put me, actually, ignoring the spirit poop, I would be 3091, right? So I would be basically 30th place. How were you able... I guess people were able to perfect more elites then. Yeah, yeah. I honestly, I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if either you had trouble getting out of Act One, which I can definitely see if I didn't take my path. That is, what about you, twelve sixty-two, or if just everybody did well and it just comes down to who was able to get lucky with uh, the Highlander and uh, Curses modifier. Yeah, I'm hundred thirty-ninth right now, which is a shame. Um, I am three points above Steven. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if actually a lot of people had the same trouble as me. Um, yeah. From the beginning, if I knew I was going to get a collect bonus on the um, on the shames, I uh, I think I would have picked up some different cards. But yeah, anyway, that happens. All right, let's read the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a watcher run with the insanity, control chaos, and lethality modifier. Uh, a, few, a bunch of people did really well, including Yavus, who ended up with 1542, which is an impressive score. Congratulations. PGM ended up with 1473. PGM perfected four of the six elites. All the bosses got 12 collector bonuses. I think most people got 11, so 12 is above the average, I guess. Um, now, PGM did miss the, the light speed modifier, and also, interestingly, uh, PGM took the fusion hammer over the Black Star, and uh, I think he and others thought that Black Star is not super necessary because it's uh, it was going to be very difficult to get I like shiny I don't think anybody was able to get I like shiny yesterday however I do think black star is the right choice generally because there's always a chance of getting wing boots uh, more so with black star than without it and uh, yeah just for that I think my rule is generally whenever um, it is offered I should take it but yeah still got a really good score congratulations and you have Steven here with 1467 uh, Steven mentioned that he just got lucky I assume he was able to perfect everything congratulations Wopa ended up with 1442, and then David ended up with 1437. Now, David was actually, I think, the only person yesterday who was also able to get curses, together with 10 collector bonuses, which is a little below the average, but he did miss the Act 3 boss, which I think a lot of people had trouble with, including myself. So with that Act 3 boss perfect, he would have had 1537, which would have put him in 8th place, and I suspect that's how Yavis was able to get such a good score, too. So curses was definitely possible for some people yesterday. Congratulations to David. You can check out his Twitch stream if you're interested. Um, yeah, made it in top 20, well deserved. Then you have Gemini here with 1417. Gemini perfected three of the six elites on all the bosses, got 11 collector bonuses, and also was able to get overkill but missed the time modifier. Again, 11 is, I think, the average. Most people were able to get 11 collector bonuses yesterday, so yeah, decent score there. Then you have Pelts with 1392. Uh, I'm here with 1346. I perfected, uh, just like Gemino, three of the six elites, but I did miss one the Act, act 3 boss. I had no chance against it. I think, I, I don't know, I don't even think with reloads. I think, basically, I tried to be super aggressive at the beginning, and then I wasn't able to do Defending against after, against the big attack after transformation. If I decided not to be aggressive, I don't think I would have really been able to perfect that one. So yeah, I just had no chance. I was able to get 11 collective bonuses. Got overkill with the mind blast that I got from my colorless potion in the final fight. So I got super lucky there. Um, missed combo and then also was able to get the light speed modify. I hadn't noticed, but I was 26 seconds away from missing that. So I got a luck, little lucky there. And then I, just like most people, was also able to go for popper yesterday. Then you have Moon Person with 1342. Moon Person perfected five of the six elites, but missed the act three boss, just like me. Um, although he mentioned he only missed it by a little bit, only one turn. He had nine collector bonuses, which is a little on the low side. Um, also took Fusion Hammer over the Black Star, same thinking like P Jam. Um, but yeah, decent score there. Then you have Goldberry with 1298. 
Dopar got 1267, uh, tied with Grimgoth for 1267 as well. Uh, Grimgoth was a little unhappy that it was another watch run. I think yesterday, um, um, yeah, yesterday was the fourth run in a row. Got 11 collective bonuses, and uh, I assume also missed a few uh, bosses here and there. Um, and then you have Super Nintendo making a top 100 with 1223, and Ichu just barely missing top 100 with 1192. Should also mention that Panda died to the slavers yesterday. Um, he didn't watch his HP and uh, just ended up losing a lot of damage there, or yeah, a lot of HP and uh, unfortunately died, which definitely can happen. I think that was a rough fight yesterday. Anyway, that's it for yesterday. Let me know in the comments what you did for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.